Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to number two of our summer camp series. Um, we're going to be talking today. It's a video creation tool called Vizsla. And my colleague and I, Kristen, found um, five AI tools that we really, really like and want to share that with you. Um, before we just do a, a quick intro, um, trying to move to the next slide <laughs> for a quick intro. I just want to explain really quickly why we're doing this um, webinar series. So these are, you know, not actually products, you know, we sell or anything like that, but um, as marketers and a lot of you are marketers, um, I have looked so many times for webinars or information online for recommendation, like, okay, you know, what are the, you know, the five tools that marketers are doing? Every time I have signed up for a webinar, it's like, welcome to the theory of AI. Um, this is where it's headed. Like, you know, I just want some practical steps. Um, so this is why we're doing it. We really wanted to kind of showcase what some of those actionable steps are and how it can be used in some specific use cases for you. Um, we are also planning on future, uh, maybe either webinar series on AI or different ways to showcase this. So um, that was my precursor to our intros. <laughs> so anyway, so my name is Larissa Beggin. I am the head of marketing here at Portrait Media and my lovely colleague, Kristen Jones, welcome. Thanks for having me, super excited to be here. Yeah, yeah. Kristen did a great job and she was just like, okay, I want this tool, like no, this tool. So she did a good job of whittling down our tools for the, the top five that we really liked. Yeah, super um, excited to show some of these. Yeah. So uh, before I dive into Vizsla, um, just a couple of notes on the power of video. And there's been a lot of changes in, in recent years. You know, I'm sure you've heard that video is where you need to be. Um, it helps any of that written content, content that you may have on your website that helps that get ranked higher. Um, Kristen, I, and I think you actually told me this, but YouTube is actually one of the strongest search engines. Um, so people search on YouTube and you know some of the you can rank really high highly with video um, oh, yeah. that yeah, yeah YouTube is a search engine essentially so you can optimize your videos just like you can optimize blog content it's truly powerful yeah I love that um, there's also again probably nothing that you're not familiar with but there's such a move to short form types of video content you know just look at the TikToks and the short reels um, again, mm -hmm. Kristen was actually just telling me that YouTube now has a, and maybe it's been a while, but um, has a short video option. So there's just, you know, these snippets, these little bits of info that people are consuming. So short video I see is really taking off. Um, and then the last point I wanted to make, so you may have seen when you go to Google, there's something called the Google AI overview. So what it is, say you, type into Google, um, what is AI marketing? And it will come out with a AI generated piece of mm -hmm. content, um, which is it's just changing the dynamics of the SEO landscape. Um, so pure written content, content is going to just shift a little bit and how we need to use it. Um, so again, I see video is really, really um, just kind of skyrocketing in the next few years um, in, in marketers, actually marketers and anybody that talks, <laughs> anybody that communicates really, really needs to just be on top of that. So without further ado, um, the platform that I really, really like and I have found is Vizsla. This is not anything we're affiliated with, but I was looking for something that would give me an option to take some of that written content, take some of my blogs, and just quickly, you know, turn it into a, a summary through a video. I'm just looking for 90 second videos, nothing extreme. Um, and, and it does it. I can literally do three or four videos a day using this um, and they're good they're not you know i'm not pulling out big production crews and spending thousands of dollars it's really remarkable how the power of ai um, is doing so much of this stuff there's also a feature um, 
I don't know if you can see my cursor. Actually, you can't see my cursor, but on the right side, it says record footage from phones, webcams, and so forth. I have not used that one before. Um, you know, that'd be great for somebody to explore. But right now, I am just using it with what we call B footage. So those are all the, the stock videos that they have in the library that you can just add to all your frames. So I will show you a little bit more. Um, so when we first get started, let's create a video. This is what the, the screen is gonna look like when you first get into it. Um, pretty self-explanatory, choose, click a video. But this just gives you a great a kind of overview of what the platform looks like. Um, and then there's three options. Uh, the first one basically is straightforward. Um, describe uh, you know, the, what the video is you want to do. So maybe it's an instructional video for this case here on the power of data-driven marketing, um, discussing first, second, and third-party video. Nothing more than that. You can make it as complex as you want. You can put in types of information. It should be fast-paced. Um, it should use a female voice for the voiceover. It should use um, an, an English accent. Just play with different prompts. Um, the more prompts and, and instructions you give it, the better. But you can see what I put in here. Pretty simple, nothing more than that. I was about to click generate video, but I guess I will go to the next slide. <laughs> um, so this is the result. So when I put that in, this is the result of what I got. And it's pretty darn good. As I was reading through it, I was like, okay, so first party data is data collected from your audience. Um, it talks about second party data, third party data. And this for me is, it's 75% there. Um, this is fine for a lot of different use cases. Um, because I have certain things I may want to like, oh, you know, I didn't talk about this. I don't like the way this is worded. At this point, I can literally go in and edit the text here. I can like, you know what, this it's perfect except for this sentence. I'm gonna edit this line and um, you're, you're good. Oh, and then also because the voiceover is also already done, you will just need to, you can quickly, there's an option to just quickly re-record voiceover for just that section. And it's, it's a finished video. Um, that whole process would take 15 minutes. Um, if you want to, that's not my favorite option, just because, you know, when I played around with it, there, it's not always giving me the, the type of information that I want to relay to my audience. Um, it's, there's, I want to integrate my personal experiences and some of the things that I've learned. So I started off that way. Again, great, depending on what you need it to do. Um, but this, the second option is another way to go. Um, you can actually take the URL of, of a blog or your website page and literally just plug it in, copy and paste. It will assess the entire website page and then spit out an entire script. Well, not even the script, it will do the whole video for you. Um, you can also add, again, the same descriptive elements, like make it fast paced or whatever types of instructions you wanna give it. Um, the end results have been pretty good. Um, I tend to write very long blogs so a lot of times it will kind of pick and choose what it likes best. And it's like, okay, that's good. But again, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, not quite what I wanted. So um, by all means, check it out. It may work for, you know, different use cases, but for what I'm looking for, it was, it was mediocre. And okay, this is the one I love. So it's kind of a hybrid of the first two approaches. Um, it's, this is where you basically input the, the script yourself. So obviously, <laughs> if you're a normal person, you're like, okay, Larissa, why are you going to type up the whole script? <laughs> that doesn't seem like that's very time saving. So you know what I would say is correct. It's not. Um, but actually what I do is I will go to the website page, um, the blog, even a, a section of the blog. Maybe there's a blog that I've written on um, ways to optimize your email marketing. 
and there's a section on it on the top and you know here's 25 statistics on the power of email marketing so i just want to put that in the in a little bit of a video so i'll copy that i will then head to chat gpt paste that in there with a prompt that says shorten this for a video script and i was amazed it's like this is it it's perfect <laughs> um i it took my language just basically summarized it um and then again you know same same as the other options just add a little bit of a description um and and see what it comes back with Kristen, i know i'm talking 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 is there anything that you want to add before i move on isn't there a way to like um regenerate the the voiceovers i think you were mentioning yes yes a great great call out um so you can do that at any point so um let me go back a slide so right here you have this this video um let me find where might be in another um, image, but there is a way then, yeah, that you can, um, oh, here you go, the next slide. <laughs> you can then regenerate um, either the text, this actually is to regenerate the entire thing, um, but you also can go in and redo the voiceover for just a section um, of a video, say there's kind of like a little weird gap in the way the language is being spoken. Um, you can go ahead and re-record that, or sometimes I'll say, please do an American accent, a female, and I get a British male voice that's not quite what I was looking for. So um, on the right, left side, there's an audio um, button where it gives you 20 or 30 different voiceovers that you can then sample and choose one of those to re-record all of the voiceover for your your video oh, and then also cool. on the yeah it is and then also on the bottom here there's a full library of videos that you can pick and choose from so say one is just not quite right um, you can swap these out very, very easily. It's very intuitive. You don't need to be an app wizard or a technology wizard to to figure this out. Um, I think it's it's pretty self-explanatory. Just a little bit of you know taking the time to to learn it, and you you can be producing videos in no time. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that was it on that one. And then the last, oh, one more, okay. So the, yeah, so then this is literally the the entire stock video portion I was talking about. Um, just a quick note on that. There is a lot of different videos that are free, a whole heck of a lot of uh, more that are available with the paid subscription. The free is good, but I really wanted some of the premium videos. Um, I think it was, don't quote me on this again. I'm not affiliated with them, but I think it was something like $189 for the year. So it's not a big investment. Um, it was it's very very doable for a year worth of videos um, and just something that I, I had tested out three, four, five different types of video platforms, and this is the one I really like the most. Um, and then the last point I want to make here is that as you are doing your video um you're, you're watching it and you know there's some words that are highlighted in yellow just to make them stand out you can actually go in and edit those highlights you can choose what color highlights you want um you know again i, I mentioned this a couple times but you're playing around with it again you know you're at the end you decide oh you know what i think i'm going to record this section um also if you get out of the program by accident it saves what you're working on so i just wanted to throw that in there um but yeah you don't it, there's so many others too that i've seen are so robust that i'm like mm -hmm. it was overwhelming for me i like i i need something that's just enough but not crazy <laughs> and right. um yeah i i love this one definitely um, good when it auto saves as well yeah exactly and then uh, I, before we move on, um, Kristen, I will then give that video to Kristen 
and she will upload those to our YouTube channel, correct, Kristen, to our YouTube yes. channel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then um, we'll embed those on our blogs to give them a little bit of an SEO boost. Um, it, it, I don't know if you've done them on social yet. I'm sure you could even create social videos, maybe a little bit shorter, but there's just such a, a wide range of applications. Um, before I move on, I saw a question and I think we answered it. It's, are you using free or paid versions? So yes, the paid version. I think that, I, I don't know, but I know that the biggest reason, again, for me going to the paid version was just because there was more um, B-roll footage and videos I can choose from. But the, again, the price wasn't astronomical compared to some of the other solutions mm -hmm. that may be out there, just depending on what you're looking to do. Okay, I know we have video uh, tools to go through. That was, I. Yes. There's, if you guys, if you have any questions, we'll send you the, the deck, or actually it's in the handout section. Um, and there's a, co yes. there's a, yes, and Kristen, also you put in a video. So grab those, I'm not sure if you can download both of them, but you can see what a finished video looks like and then get a copy of the deck. If you miss it, don't worry, just give me a holler or Kristen and we can send that to you. Yeah, the video is an example of one of the videos done by Visla, and then we have the PDF of our deck today, which also has links to all of these tools. So you can go check yes. them. Yes, great, great call out. So Kristen, do you wanna dive into this one? This one looked really cool when you were telling me about this. Yes. Yeah. A lot of these tools are just, they're super great. And like Larissa was saying, like there's a lot of theory of AI content out there, but it's really good to see like what exactly is AI doing for us today, like right now. Um, and I came across this tool called Magical. It's a productivity app actually, and it lets you automate your repetitive tasks. So one of the main features of Mag Magical is its ability to create messaging templates. So if you have a sales team that does a lot of outreach or a marketing team, this is probably worth checking out because you can use these templates to insert placeholder text. And Magical will automatically fill out this information when the template's being used. So of the things that Magical can help with with creating templates, like let's say you do outreach um, messaging on LinkedIn, you can set up your template to include placeholders for company name, um, the first name, and any other variables that you would like. They have a few to choose from. And then when you go to the LinkedIn profile, Magical will recognize the company name and the first name from the profile, and it will suggest filling in placeholders and the template. So it will save your team a ton of time. Um, and then another way that this tool can really help you is if you have data entry type of tasks that your team is doing. So um, it can save you time by automatically transferring data into spreadsheets and databases. So for example, you can transfer co contact info from LinkedIn into a Google Sheet. And that'll save you a ton of time. And it can also um, fill out forms for you. So for example, if you need to fill out contact info in a Salesforce form, you can do that with Magical. Um, so it's a really cool tool, you know, that can save your marketing and sales teams a ton of time. And you can actually get started with it for free um, by installing the browser extension. So uh -huh. I, good to know. <laughs> it, it's definitely worth checking out. And I actually I learned about this tool not that long ago. I was on another webinar. I think it was a Sell Better webinar. They have some really great um, information on those, and that's when I found out about it. And I was like, yeah, this is definitely worth checking out. I love that. It's magical. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Let me. Okay. All right, so Market Muse is another tool that I was super excited about when I came across it. Um, if you have a like robust um, SEO content marketing strategy, I think it's definitely worth checking out. So basically what it is, is it's an AI powered content marketing platform and it helps you optimize your content for better SEO. 
And everybody knows like SEO, it's changing right now. There's lots of unknowns, especially with what Laura said, said earlier with the generative AI, you know, search results now coming up. But SEO is still a very important part of your marketing. And you should always be looking in how to improve that. But that can be really complicated, especially if you don't have a big SEO team. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of variables. There's a lots of things to look into. So where I really feel like this tool is helpful is it helps with your content planning and it goes beyond the basic keyword research. So one thing that I really like about it is it analyzes your competitor content and it tells you exactly what you need to do to improve your content to outrank them and to just have better SEO overall on that topic, whatever that content piece was. Um, so let's say you need to write 500 more words to improve your rankings. It will tell you that. It will tell you to add two more internal links. Let's say you haven't added any internal links. It will also give you suggestions on you need to add another H2. It just really, it's a really great way, like if you have a small SEO team or a small marketing department, it just kind of spells out for you. It makes it easy. What do you need to do to improve? So much of SEO is not just about creating new content, but existing or improving existing content. As we all know content rot can become a rampant problem on your website if you have hundreds of blogs, like they're going to need to be maintained, updated, and this is a great tool that can help you do that. Um, so another feature that I really love is that it generates briefs for content writers. So you can make sure that all the important topics and questions are going to be addressed in your content for better SEO rankings. And I think that's really helpful. Writing for SEO is important. You can write something great, but you know, if you're not strategic about you know, your headings, including your keywords, then you, know, you can lose out on some of that SEO. So it really helps you. I think overall this tool is just really great because it helps you move away from you know, gut instinct decisions, provides real data and insights that can help you create content that actually converts and generates ROI. So I think this is a really exciting tool. Um, if you do a lot of you know, organic search, if, if you do a lot of content writing, blogging, I definitely recommend looking into this. There is a um, seven day free trial, so you can test it out and see how it works for you. That's cool, I like that one. I like that one too. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a good one. All right, so this is, okay, so we are all busy here in sales and marketing, and it can be a challenge to like find the right time for a meeting and figuring out, I guess that balance between meetings and deep work because we all like know if you have a day of five meetings like how much work are you really going to be able to get done well motion is an ai daily planner that combines your calendar and your tasks to keep you organized and productive actually so it will it uses ai to automatically update your tasks and calendars based on your progress too I think that's what I like most about it is its ability to capture your tasks and calendar events and then have them automatically moved around to optimize your schedule. Also, you can set your preferences. So if you are a morning meeting person, you like to get all of your meetings out of the way in the morning, you can set your preferences up so that way you are meeting when is most optimal for you. And um, I think I kind of mentioned this when I was speaking earlier about it, but it'll also intuitively schedule time for deep work, which is super important. You know, if you work in marketing, you need time to focus. If you're a creative marketer, you know, you need time to have that creativity, that deep focus. Motion will help you do that. Um, so I think it's a really cool tool worth looking into. Um, if you are the type of person who, you know, also like, over commits like maybe you're like oh my gosh how did six meetings end up on my calendar well motion ai will look out for you 
and it will help you kind of optimize your schedule. If you get a project done earlier and you can meet, Motion will help you figure that out. It'll help, it helps you plan real, like a realistic schedule for yourself. So you can get everything done. You're not working late into the night and you're not having six meetings in a day, you know, that could be, you know, moved to another day. So I think it's really cool because we're, like I said, we're all very busy and marketing and sales and pretty much any role, of course, but yeah, it, it can really help you out. I really like this one and I think it's worth checking out. No, that one's really cool too. Um, yeah. so I'll do just a quick overview of these last few tools. Um, the, the good ones were up front, Kristen. Thank you for that. Those great <laughs> overviews. <laughs> um, and these are just a couple of quick little nice to knows. Um, so, and don't laugh because, you know, we all kind of joke about, ah, oh, you know, that was an AI generated selfie, but <laughs> I have seen some really good ones. So I had met somebody on LinkedIn and uh, she was actually on a, a webinar. I think that was just last week. Um, and her name is Sharon Ross. And so I had commented that I was like, wow, your hair looks like great. And you know, like, I love your shoe. She's like, that was AI. Um, it did not look like AI. So no. this is the site. Yeah, this is the site that she used. Um, you can see it looks super inexpensive to get started. Um, check it out. It, it's, these are all AI generated. So say you want a picture of yourself in a suit, you basically, you upload your picture. Um, and then say, you know, put me in a white suit outside, you know, you can play around with the different prompts. I, I actually haven't tried it out yet myself, um, but just based on the feedback that I got, uh, she's a three-time CMO, um, so I trust her that she is wanting to put her best foot forward, <laughs> not so much that she's a CMO, but because she deals with so many different people um and it looked really good so that that's a if you want to play around with it check it out and then the last one so i've been doing a lot of well five so i've been doing five videos i did five videos on linkedin so i'm really trying to build up my personal brand there and i was looking for an app where i could just um record on on my phone and do something quick 30, no, not 30 seconds, you know, no more than a minute. And then I, I downloaded this. I then upload it on my phone. Um, and then it just automatically generates these really cool captions. Um, it does, I can't remember if I said this, sorry, I was trying to go quickly before we run out of time, but it does have a teleprompt feature. Um, you can do a little bit of editing with it. Um, I, I love it. And then I just will, post right there to linkedin um, a video but i mean like think of all the use cases you can send it to prospects if you're in sales you can use it in team meetings you can th there's just so many different use cases when you need to you know just send a quick video message um it's just it's it's was one of the ones that came highly recommended. So I, I checked that out and oh my gosh, it's 1.30, I did it. <laughs> um, thank you, thank you all. Um, if we, I, I wanna let you go, um, but I wanna take your questions. So I did not see any questions except the one come in. If you have anything that you want to ask, um, we will be sending out the recording tomorrow. So feel free to just, you know, pop me a message and ask for, well, if you didn't grab the deck, we're happy to send that to you. Um, if you have any recommendations on tools to showcase in a future webinar, um, we'd love to hear that. And um, thank you all. I, I hope you enjoy and enjoy the rest of your afternoon. And thank you, Kristen. That was wonderful. It was a lot of fun to do with you. Yes, it was. Thanks, everybody. All right. Take care. Thanks, guys.